Hey everybody, Shayna here again with Wake Brand Media with another tip on how to get your company's YouTube game on point. So today, we're going to talk about lighting. I personally think that lighting is the absolute most important element when it comes to creating any type of video. Say it with me. Lighting is the most important element of making good video. So if you haven't listened to anything, please, please, please listen to this. So my friend Mike Arce invited me over to Loud Rumor so that I could show off a little bit of what he's doing when it comes to lighting for his video vlogs. If you haven't heard of Loud Rumor, you absolutely need to go check them out. They're a champion for local businesses and they are getting people leads like crazy in the Valley. They specialize in the greater Phoenix area and if you're a local business looking to generate more leads and more conversions online, you definitely need to give these guys a call. There'll be some more information on how to get in touch with them at the end of this video. Blah, 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 blah. So I was at Mike's office, The Loud Rumor, um, a couple of weeks ago, and he had asked me about lighting. He had bought a whole new light set. Rather inexpensive, but hugely effective. And he just didn't know where to place things to make it look right. He had been recording videos with it, but didn't really like the results that he was getting. So the kit that Mike bought on Amazon is definitely the exact kit that you should be considering doing. Maybe $100, $150. Um, you'll see a couple of links below on different ones that you can check out on Amazon that are similar to what he already has. I actually have a set of them in studio. They're, they're very easy to set up. Uh, you're not gonna wanna move them around a lot because they don't do well with travel, but for the price, and if you have them in your offices just to do video blogs like this, they're the perfect solution for lighting there. One thing to know when it comes to lighting is that you cannot mix light sources. Make sure you're only using the lights that came with your kit. So set them up, and then when you're done setting them up and you're ready, turn off the overhead lights, regardless of what you think they may or may not be, because it's more than likely going to cause a conflict in the camera, and it's just not even worth dealing with. On the back of the unit, you'll see switches, and that basically lets you know how many lights you can turn on at a time, which does play a big role when you go to set up the lighting. So what you'll see that I'm putting on the outside is called the softbox. That's what makes these lights perfect for people who aren't gaffers, which are lighting people, as we call it in our industry. So what that means is instead of getting just a blasting light in your face, it gives you a nice sheen and disperses the light evenly. So to start your three-point lighting, you're going to have them basically on each corner, and you'll have one behind you. So what that means is you're going to have a dominant, you're going to have a fill light, and then you're going to have a backlight coming from behind you. Um, that's kind of to give you a nice little silhouette. You'll definitely see a difference when you use it. You don't, seems minuscule, but it really isn't. Um, for your dominant light, you're going to make that have the most light. So if you've got five switches on your light, you're gonna put all five on. If you've got three, you're gonna put all three on. The light that's on the opposite side is going to be your fill light. So you don't want that to be as powerful as the main dominant light because you still want a little bit of contrast. You still want a little bit of, of dimension in your video. So you're going to make that at about, if you have five switches, I would go maybe three, four. If you have three switches, go to two. And then with your backlight, that's going to be your lowest. So if you have five switches, you'll probably go to about two. If you've got three switches, you'll go one. Um, and that should basically do it. So here are some examples on how much of a difference lighting makes. Here's what it looked like when we didn't use the lights and we just used the light coming from outside. We had opened the blinds, so you'll see some lines from the blinds. Lines of the blinds, lines of the blinds. Yeah, yeah, the lines of the blinds. It's just overall, it's dark, it's kind of grainy. There's nothing really bright or professional looking about it. And now you'll see what it looks like once we set up the three-point lighting. Such a big difference, right? Woo. It looks professional. That's really all I have to say about it. That's why I'm saying lighting is so, so, so important. One thing also to point out is that the video we shot of Mike was through his camera. So he's got a Canon T3i, which is an awesome camera to get started with. It's affordable, it's great quality, and what you're seeing are the auto features on this camera. So you don't have to do anything with this camera outside of turning it on to record mode, and this is what it's going to look like with the proper lighting. If you aren't a believer at this point that lighting is everything in video, then I don't really know what else to tell you about it. There's going to be a couple of links throughout the post that you'll see that kind of reference some of the things that I had talked about, like the lighting kit, the camera. Um, if you have any questions and need more information, please do not hesitate hesitate to reach out. My email address is below. It's s.umbach at wakebrandmedia.com. I know it's kind of a mouthful, so that's why it's printed right here. Or call us at 1-844-HEY-WAKE. We do consulting work, so if you have equipment or are looking to purchase equipment, we can come in, give you a rundown on what you should be looking for, how to use the equipment most efficiently, and really to just create really, really killer videos in your own office. And a huge thank you to Mike Arcee from Loud Rumor for letting me showcase his whole setup for you guys. Uh, please go check them out at loudrumor.com. And again, I wanna thank all of you for letting me in and helping you create your wake. 
Create your wake. <laughs> create it. Create your wake, everybody. Create your wake. Create your wake. Mold it. Create it. Create that wake. Create your wake. Create your wake. Yeah. Do you feel it? Do you feel me? Create the wake. Oh, that's it. <laughs>